Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachooks. I'm your JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time we see our program for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as we drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news update. So Frank Lebweff will be one of the football pundits at ESPN. So Baba Kokomas are going to talk about a unhappiness on what they happened to William Saliba. So he got it also the best defender in France. You get in France national team and the world, the best defender right now. That's a very, very big statement. He's sitting on the bench for France because he no understand why William Saliba know they play regularly. So when you look at uh, Diot Upemakano way, maybe friend the Deschamps actually prefer. So the guy know they get the best of games at Bayern Munich. Go and look at where they are on the table. They are chasing the likes of Bayer Leverkusen. Like they have not really done so well or spectacularly this season. Ibrahim Konate, yes, you can say the guy is trying at this Liverpool today for tight. They try to win the league for England. But when it comes to German, I don't think Bayern can win the league because you know that Bayer Leverkusen are still unbeaten. I think they are the only side in the whole of the world like europe might just call europe might not call the world in the whole of the, in the in europe we never actually lose this season get so they see they maintain their unbeaten stats for the league and european competitions so we just watch that things unfold because me it wasn't not yesterday uh, in the night or do the evening show when me had to register my displeasure on waiting the, the, the shop they do saliba like we just insult Saliba, criticize him unprovoked, unprovoked. Nothing Saliba do you just start to talk different different things. So I think there's something where Saliba don't do this man where the man never fit explain because from the boy himself the explanation how can a player where everybody they regard as one of the best in the world yet he cannot get into the France setup and obviously the people they for that first thing they be like one time world class like. Men, men like that because according to Frank Lebo, when you check out the French, uh, France national team, their weakness may be their back line. They now have somebody who's regarded as one of the best, if not the best in the world, at a very tender age. The person can not date for the bench, like make it make sense because this one, and this is not like maybe Ben White, we actually keep himself out of selection. He's somebody that is usually selected, but when push comes to shove, they will put them on the bench. So Make it make sense. All right, away from that, so the likes of Declan Rice, Konkoma Sakoni Talk say, uh, by the time we go, go back to Arsenal, I think it was a Metro that actually put out this report. Say Declan Rice reveals he will try to convince Arsenal teammates Ben White into Arsenal U-turn. Say, since he'll be one of the captains of England, saying we'll see how he'll take talk to Ben White. Say, no, be like that. Don't take handle the matter. No, be so that they handle something, making. Your scam down, you get representing England is a very, very big honor. So, no use and play at the end of your career, you might look back and start regretting. Say, I die known I for still play for England, despite my annoyance with Steve Holland, who is the second in command for England. So, now we're seeing Rice the talk. Well, for those who know, even they are aware, so the clan Rice will captain the three lions that's England will captain the England team today against their opponent, Belgium. And this and this is this marks Declan Rice 50th appearance for England, and he will be the captain to grace this fantastic occasion with his family there and everything. So we said I uh, will deal with them. So we we'll just see how things going forward. Now, football lawmakers, welcome as I come to talk. Say they have no plans to actually change the time limits or put a time limit on. VAR checks and uh, our monitoring spiritual they call the Daily Mirror. And then, first of all, writes this report. Mr. McCone, they look deeply on this. You know, say many people they complain say VAR checks they take so much time. Sometimes it takes three minutes, four minutes, even as much as five minutes to check. And everybody go there for the stadium, anxious and be waiting. We don't know where the decision go go. So people they complain say they kill the morale, like the spirit of the game, they kill them. Because five minutes in football is a long time. A lot of things could have happened. So 
but the uh, football law make another thing they don't go really check go that angle say so if, if you go take 10 minutes maybe take 10 minutes as long as the right conclusion line they reach at the end of the day because Imagine maybe the scores offside go and the VR upon the check-up. You know, but like when they take all their time to check them, to make sure see that goal, they cancel them, even if not 15 minutes, they take check-up. At the end of the day, maybe they cancel them. So you know, but like them, that is the alternate argument for those who they talk, say, maybe it not take too much time. Because, okay, look at the case, like our own case, now when we played against Newcastle, we say, they don't get the technology to actually check whether the ball they in the line or the ball they outside. That kind of thing now. People check and if it take 10 15 minutes, they check and check and check even and eight. I don't know what they will do. What they say, they'll stick to the the decision where the on field referee don't make. So that's just what they talk. So me as I can let you know for those who do wonder what in the football they can they do about wasting time or time wasting the VR checks. So that is their own conclusion. All right, so Ian Wright and uh, Gary Neville they're going to argue about hurricane. So Ian Wright of the opinion. Say Hurricane is supposed to actually join a Premier League team after in commerce for Tottenham Hotspur. So that he break the record of Alan Shira, who scored so many goals in the EPL. Gary Neville, on the other hand, say he don't see that one happening because Ian Wright was saying at least the guy for still join Arsenal. But Ian Wright, like so many Arsenal fans, they will talk say make um, Hurricane actually join Arsenal. But the thing is. Even if, because people keep forgetting that Hurricane actually started his career at Arsenal, the Hill End Academy. When Hill End Academy be the start, he follow for one of the people who enter and register when Papa and Mama register. At the end of the day, Arsenal people come feel say, you know, they're good enough. They can send them out. At the end of the day, we found himself at Tottenham Hospital and explained where. Now, when we say don't grow, you don't attain legendary status for Tottenham Hospital. Swapping the Tottenham Hospital. Over to Arsenal is going to be like, like maybe you go pay assassin, say you want to spy somebody, that kind of thing. Because the threat so you're going to get so many things will happen to her. Instead, no go believe in eye. Because you see this football, the emotional spot will cast the mind back the other way. One man go punch uh, Roy King for Arsenal. That's what it's in the view. So you you will say don't keep it for one kind of high pedestal. You can't talk, say you won't come up for Tottenham Hospital. But just imagine Henry swapping Arsenal for Tottenham Hospital. Just imagine that kind of thing at his peak. We can we can try him. There's even somebody we don't have so can bear. I've been a wish person with that. We even try him. Maybe say see today, Baba see the beg. Say, I'm gonna play ball again now. What's in the soul? Anytime I just talk on the social media and I will come for me. The name no, I think it should be so can be safe. I don't forget that person name. We swap from Tottenham Mosport to Arsenal. You say see today, go on. fans never be forgiven. So that's how deep the rivalry did. So Hurricane is a very, very good player. If that kind of person enter Arsenal, or more, Arsenal will win a lot of things because that person will be say for me, it is very, very prolific. I like the way he plays, but it's just unfortunate we cannot actually get that type of player. Yeah, somebody for the comments you're saying that so can be. Yeah, let's say that the person. All right, so moving on. So Liverpool they complain now about their calendar. I mean, if I come wrong, go check their calendar, make a suit that they complain. So the complaint is the fact that when you look at their calendar between April 18th and April 27th, Liverpool are going to be playing four consecutive away games. First of all, they'll start with Atlanta, I think that one at the uh, Europa League. After Atlanta, they will go away to Craven Cottage, go play Fulham. From Fulham, they are going to the Goodison Park. From Goodison Park, they go uh, West Ham home. You get so, and all these games, Fulham, come on, these days, Fulham, the Arapa GK, those people, they are very, very good. The way that they play, now the Paragon. So, that Fulham match, Club no say that match, no good, easy. Because Fulham, no, between the play 10 men behind the ball, Fulham will follow you, put the ball down, play the kind of confidence that they get for home. And when you look at them, after that, when you come see the Messi side derby. Uh, Liverpool versus Everton. Everton be like a wounded lion. They did. All the super people say they fight for relegation battle. Once it only reach like five games to go, six games to go. Um, the way that they play, the kind of spirits, the kind of morale, the, the ginger, what they do for their body, where they play. You say, you're the one that say, where did they get this morale from? Because nobody wants to go and play championship football. You get, they will follow you, die, they will follow you, run. Anyhow you want that, they will give you physicality, oh, boy, they will give you. So that is right, club. The complaints. Imagine going to Craven. I know what makes the matter was 
these four games will be away games will be consistent like that. Now every three three days, if I check the calendar, every three three days, like the games they come. So there is no time to actually rest and themselves they for tight to contention. So we will they talk say Liverpool have a very very good calendar. They have weak games. Um, the weak games now just on paper, but in reality, it's not as weak as you think. Because going to Craven Cottage to go and play Fulham, it's not a weak game. Going to Goodison Park to go and play Everton, now they fight for their lives, it's not a, really a good thing. You get not to talk of West Ham self. Maybe say everybody in the para and everybody wants to see how they will go uh, Europe. So as we will complain on our own, say we get a very tedious six-week window. That's what they said they complain. You get so now table don't turn. So now Manchester City naturally get easier games on paper. Apart, apart from a game that will play against us, play against North Numbers or play against Aston Villa. Go and check their calendar. Every other person within are like bottom half teams, and those ones. So you know how much they do now. If they knock anybody, uh, like they like say tomorrow, no day. So, but we'll just do watch and see how everything will unfold at the end of the day. All right. So, can you get some news about Martinelli? For those of you who they ask me, says I took any updates about Martinelli. Well, the positive of this, I will tell you, you say Martinelli was spotted on Sunday at Convent Garden, London. You know, wear crutches. He the work on man. So, I believe say the last time we actually saw him, he was wearing crutches. Yeah. So, but now at least you know we are cast. For a leg, so that one I signed. So okay, hopefully by the time we go play Man City, we go don't do okay. We get so now like, because we still the international break. I believe say once they don't come back to London to a sober reality and uh, training center, then we will know who and who really they fit to play. But I don't know. There's this little bird that like, just singing in my head that uh, Matt Lenny Saka, like everybody will play. Forget. So we no go get anybody they missing like the first leg. So for the second leg, we will get a clean squad with a clean bill of health. Now, what will they see? All right, on more positive news. So today is the birthday of an iconic manager, our Aslan manager, Mikel Ateta. So if you check social media, so many people write so much tributes, so much good, good things. In fact, before I came live, I actually saw the, the Arsenal post this content with small video. The first the video started with uh, the speech you have to make last season. Just after the season don't end, I think I carry the microphone for the excellency. They, they thank everybody for trusting the process. But we are, we like where we are, but we are not where we want to be. It gets just enjoy the ride. In fact, they don't even let that talk. If it talks more, they sing for the stadium. We have Mika Super Mika Teta, like the, the happiness just engulf the stadium, the noise, the chants, everything. I feel like they try to talk, they don't talk. So they're going to show some iconic moments when they post in the FA Cup. Like, I just watch this small clip where Arsenal post. But my happiness is the fact that we have a great manager, even though he never really win anything for us, like something notable, like maybe the league or maybe the Champions League. But I, I can dare anybody, nobody will come and say, I can't say we are not heading to the right direction, that we don't have a very good manager. Imagine Mikel Ateta going toe to toe with managers like Jurgen Klopp, with managers like Pep. Come on. If we had uh, gone, we'd be say, now be the, the darling of the media. He cannot boast of doing what Ateta is doing. Look at, look at how they play. When you pay your money to come and watch Arsenal play, they entertain you, they make you happy, they just. It is, it is, they make you feel, they fill you up with joy. You get, unlike other teams, as not play an exciting brand of football, just, you should give, give a title as well. Like, me go, I did, I did speech, I don't even know how to praise the manager because he has done a lot, transformed us from the toxicity that we experienced during uh, every time, during a uh, Wenger final declining era. You get, we faced a lot of toxicity that time. I think that coming, sweep every year, this pack a pack and, so when some players with they very very egoistic when they, when they when they divide our dressing room come on then come on it's like you cannot quantify what ateta has done for us now that's just the thing the thing just be like it's like say you don't see him that's just the thing people most people don't see the things he does behind the scenes if you don't watch the amazon all or nothing documentary i think it gives you a, a semblance of the kind of personality ateta is Go and watch that documentary. I don't know if I see it for YouTube because I didn't say me. I watch on that time with the with the air. Go and watch that thing. You see how much passion, how how much how much love he has for us. That so today's birthday. Wish him the best since life has to offer and make it continue to grow from strength to strength. Now my prayer for. Him. All right. So my dear, Arsenal, the biggest news of the day. I mean the fact that Frank Leboeuf, 
who is one of the football pundits at ESPN. So instead of when they complain and say, the best defender who is Saliba in the world is on the bench for France. And no thanks to Didier Deschamps. We I don't know what the Saliba doing. We not just want to play the guy. So well, now the Deschamps choice for that because at the end of the day, the coach then they hire. So whoever it feels is going to help him do a good job, he just have to respect his opinion. We can only make our own opinions known, but at the end of the day, the coach's opinion is superior. So I think that's how we we'll let everything be. So this is a fine place for us to call the show and end. So it's like come your way in the evening as usual. Thanks for tuning in. Get mouth and have a nice day.